Hey Epic! Welcome to Science. Today we are going to be continuing our study of Earth Science by talking about rocks. Now, geologists or scientists, scientists who study the Earth divide rocks into three basic groups. Those groups are igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. Let's break down what those three words mean. Let's start with igneous rocks. Now the word igneous means fire. Have you ever heard the word ignite? When you start a fire, you are igniting. I am igniting this lighter. So thinking about that really helps me remember that igneous rocks used to be really hot molten rock. So let me show you an example that kind of shows you how igneous rocks are formed. And before I do this, I want to say, do not try this at home. What I'm about to do involves fire, and fire can be very, very dangerous. So if you ever do anything like this, make sure that you have adult permission and adult supervision. Okay? But for right now, just watch me. I have a candle that's been burning for a while. Now, if you could see in here, you could see that the wax is a liquid because it's so close to the flame. And just like um, how the heat from the Earth's core melts rock into what we call molten rock. Now, let's see what happens when the wax is poured out of the candle. Kind of like when molten rock erupts from a volcano and is no longer close to the core to the core's heat. Let's see. I've got my little plate. Okay. Now nothing super exciting happens right away, but let's give it some time. I'll wait. All right, now that some time has passed, let's check on our rock. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this, but it is no longer liquid. It is hardened into a solid. And I can even, oh, maybe not yet. Oh, yep, I can even pick some of it up. And I have got an igneous rock. Okay, well, not literally, but do you get the comparison? A real igneous rock looks something like this. Do you see all of those little holes? Those used to be air bubbles in liquid rock that came out of a volcano. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Okay, now let's talk about sedimentary rocks. The word sedimentary comes from the word sediment which is dirt, mud, or sand in a body of water, like a lake or a river. So here, I've got some sediment, some dirt, and water. Now, this represents the flow of the river. So the river flows away, and after time, it completely dries up. Okay, so now all that time has passed. The river is completely dried up and all that's left is the sediment. See that? Now, this sediment is heavy. So, over thousands of years, the pressure from the weight of the sediment pushes down on itself Let's imagine that this candle is thousands of years of time and pressure, and it pushes down on itself, smushing it, and crushing it, and smushing. So eventually, 
After all the water is drained away, after thousands and thousands of years, you get a rock that looks like this. Do you see all of those layers? That's because that's how the sand flowed downstream and got compressed into the sedimentary rock. Does that make sense? Okay, so the third type of rock that we're going to talk about today is called metamorphic rock. Now, metamorphic rocks are kind of a combination of the other two. Metamorphic means that it's changed. It's metamorphosized. So take a look at this. This rock was once sand, but it's been smushed together by an immense amount of pressure like sedimentary rock and extremely high heat like igneous rock so over time we've got pressure and heat and pressure and heat and pressure and heat smooshing on this sand until after all that time thousands of years it is crushed flat so heat and pressure formed that rock Pretty cool, huh? Okay, Epic, so I've got a challenge for you. Now that we've learned all about the different kinds of rocks, I challenge you to go find a rock of your own. It could be in your backyard, in your front courtyard, out on the sidewalk, any kind of rock you think you can find. Then I want you to take a look at it and tell me whether you think that this is an igneous rock, a sedimentary rock, or a metamorphic rock. Tell me why you think that. Provide specific examples to support your answer and then let us know. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye!